So a very quick overview on how to divide a rectangle of any size into thirds. So carefully drawing a shape, a rectangle in this case, I'm not too sure what the proportion is at this point, it's any old proportion, but being careful that these lines are parallel, these lines are parallel, and that my corners are 90, de 90 degrees. Just being very, very deliberate about that. So let's just say I want to somehow break that up into thirds and I want to somehow break that up into thirds. So let's just pretend this is a pan of brownies and you've got nine guests over and how do you give them equal pieces? First thing you do is you take your knife and you slice across the icing. You just make a nice beautiful line from one corner to the other. Again, drawing a line that is towards you and if it's kind of going wonky, no. Doesn't, no harm in redoing that line. That would shift the center just a little bit, so careful to do that. And what you've done now is just marking off on both sides where the center of that pan is. And from that point there, drawing a diagonal towards you like so. And where it hits, that original diagonal where you cross from one corner to the other is going to mark off where a third is. So that is one third and the remainder is two thirds. Like so. And what you've achieved here is one, one proportionate break up to another. So now we have to break this one if, into two thirds. We can just do the exact same thing but we'll repeat it on the opposite side is go from this point to the opposite corner and where it hit the diagonal, that's your next third over here. And just some checks, these should be straight across from the one another. And lo and behold, if I actually extend that line to the other side, then I'm now in the process of breaking this rectangle up into, or this line right here, into thirds. So we've got it underway. Now, we can take a look and see if that checks out, and it probably does, but it doesn't hurt to check out, and that would be taking from this point here to the opposite side, so it won't confuse you. I'll just draw it in this direction right here. And sure enough, it does hit there. And let's just double check it on this side. We're going to draw a diagonal from the center point here to that corner. And get a little bit off here, but I am drawing freehand, so I'm gonna forgive myself for that. And there you go. You've just divided up this very random rectangle into one third, one third, one third, and one third, one third, one third. So very easy trick and very, very handy.